Hello Cap, welcome to your reading for mid-August. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I'm pulling a Celtic cross for you today, but I'm starting off with a couple of Astro cards. And towards the end of the reading, I will be pulling a few tea leaves and charms for you. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, let's see what we have. We have House 3 and Libra. Interesting. There's so much air energy in, in August readings. It's it's kind of mind-blowing. Um, House 3 is, well, Gemini and Mercurial energy. And Libra is air energy. Again, it's ruled by Venus. But I feel like with all of this air energy showing up, we have Mercury entering Libra on the 25th. And the reason that this is important is because communication as a whole is going to become very fair and very just it's going to be laced with compassion and harmony and fairness and balance why i say communication again mercury <clears throat> house three is ruled by mercury which is the planet of communication it talks about early learning childhood relations the rational mind and communication some of you may even be communicating uh, with someone you are interested in when it comes to romance because Libra rules the seventh house which is the house of long-term partnerships and again Libra is ruled by Venus the planet of love so there is incoming communication if things are stagnant right now I would expect things to start moving especially around the 25th of the month like I said Mercury is entering Libra the planet of communication entering the sign of love you could also be dealing with a Libra it doesn't have to be but Let's see what your tarot says. Eight of Swords. The lovers almost wanted to show itself. Eight of Swords in the heart of your reading. And the Empress crossing it. The Empress is a crossing card, so it needs to be read in reverse. There is something that is preventing your growth. And that something is your mind. You see how house three talks about the rational mind and i always say your mind can be either your best friend or your worst enemy because in, it can concoct things out of nowhere out of thin air i feel that you need to tell yourself that there is no looking back you need to leave the past where it belongs and keep yourself open to new possibilities the empress wants you to grow and evolve it wants to bring about that venusian energy that libran energy there is love coming in for you, but I almost feel like past lessons and past mistakes and past failures are keeping you stuck. They're preventing you from investing in whatever this newness is, whatever this new opportunity is for love or for growth. Let's see, what is your focus? The creatrix, so much air energy. Now, this is... Um, Gemini and Virgo energy it is mercurial energy at its finest it talks about this is the magician it talks about creating your own reality Mercury is in Virgo as we speak so which is why the creatrix showing up is absolutely mind-blowing I feel that you have that you've realized that you have that primordial instinct almost that primordial energy inside you to create the life of your dreams and you're focusing on it but the Eight of Swords may be preventing your manifestations from coming in. You want to grow. You want to attract a beautiful partnership. You want to grow in your career. You want to evolve as a person. Either way, make sure you are not manifesting from a place of panic and fear. There's a sense of anxiety here. And I don't see any external influences affecting your growth. I just see it. I just see your mind creating it out of thin air. Let's see what was in the recent past. The world. Something came to an end. You put a close to a particular chapter. Whether this was in career or in love, I'm not certain. But I feel like you realize that you have successfully completed that journey. But then you went back to it. You're, you're going back to it. You're revisiting that ending. You're manifesting something new for yourself. You're manifesting growth. You tell yourself that you've completed whatever this is successfully but you haven't 
there's more work that needs to be done here drop the card okay what is your um crowning card what is your strength wow you have a lot of major arcana judgment your strength is your ability to discern your strength is your ability to realize when a situation is dead done over with and move forward with your life i feel that the judgment card is is plutonian uranian energy for me i feel like it talks about wanting to be reborn um but realizing that you can't be reborn uh without destroying what your reality was in the past a true transformation a phoenix rising from the ashes right the world card is the last card of the major arcana the judgment card is the second last card you see that journey happening here i feel like you want this transformation you want your life to be well mired in consideration fairness and harmony but i feel like there there are lessons that you are still carrying with you pain that you are still carrying with you the intention is beautiful but that nagging thought right here there's a reason this came right in the center in the heart of your spread there are nagging thoughts that are not leaving you alone the two of pentacles immediate future i feel like now see this is a two week reading it's 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 a very short span of time all right it's not the rest of your life i feel like for the next two weeks you may be in a bit of a dilemma as to which direction to go in it's also possible that you're juggling way too much right now when it comes to work but you see how her head is not where it should be it's where her solar plexus chakra is this talks about confidence and self esteem start pouring more love into yourself watch your self esteem soar and then watch how easy it is for you to make decisions i feel like you're making decisions from a very panicked state of mind right now which is why you're not being able to accomplish whatever transformation and growth this is okay how are you showing up <laughs> the tower i can't this is this is hilarious all right listen look at the major arcana here this is insane judgment the world the empress the creatrix or the magician and the tower pluto uranus energy at its finest you are ready for this change you realize that it's tough you realize that this is going to be a massive uprootment of whatever you thought was comfortable you're ready for it you're almost like a wrecking ball encrusted in diamonds you're like yeah i'm ready i'm ready to bash this building up cuz i'm dying to start building afresh You see that fall of ego right there that figure falling that's the fall of ego you're not functioning from a place of ego you're very vulnerable right right now in a in a very healthy way hold on to that hold on to this if i name your reading phoenix rising from the ashes it's going to be so cliched but that is exactly what your spread is saying to me you're waiting for that rebirth external influences that you may or may not be aware of the 3 of cups this talks about well it could be a reconciliation if you are looking for one the 3 of cups can also talk about people from your soul tribe coming together and bringing out the best in each other it can talk about celebration festivities i feel like there are people around you who truly love you you may feel that you are alone in whatever this is and as a capricorn you are very independent you don't like taking help you're ruled by saturn for crying out loud right you guys are one of the strongest signs of the zodiac make sure you soften up a little bit the reason libra is showing up and house 3 is showing up is because there are people around you who care people who may want to help and soften your approach soften your fall whatever this is whatever transformation this is okay let's see hopes and fears for cap the 10 of cups you want a happily ever after you're hoping for a beautiful married life you're hoping for even if you don't want to get married i feel like you're just hoping for peace you're hoping for a peaceful partnership you're hoping for um well a legacy of love i feel like because you are hoping for it you can create it this 
eight of swords it needs to leave your psyche you need to manifest from this energy of the empress the creatrix and the ten of cups because that's what you want pretend you already have it and watch how quickly it comes in for you all right let's see potential outcome i love it that's the universe giving you a present that's the universe saying well you have embraced this wrecking ball that i sent to you you bedazzled it here you go that's your reward it is a seed that the universe offers and if you plant it and if you water it and if you take care of it it's going to grow into a big old oak tree that's going to provide you shade for the rest of your life this reading made me a little emotional very heavy but beautiful all right let's see gavel involvement with the law we have judgment right here so if you are involved in a legal situation i feel like you could expect it to tip in your favor cup you should accept valid criticism the three of cups it's possible that the people you are surrounding yourself with it's possible that they're giving you nuggets of advice and you may be ignoring it there may be something there that you need to look into okay tiger doing something risky taking a chance i feel like you know sometimes when we're going through a difficult patch and we're in the middle of that transformation we get overwhelmed and then we feel like we just need to take a take a leap because well everything is falling apart anyway what's the worst that could happen calculate the risks that you are taking crown honor and respect will come to you there you go beautiful energy let's get you a couple of charms to close this off we have angel wings which is telling me that you are guided and protected we have um the tree of life the tree of ancient wisdom of ancestral wisdom i feel like you may be digging into your family roots you may be gaining a lot of insight um about who you are and why you are the way you are and then we have the elephant talks about not just reminiscing but building new memories beautiful reading cap i hope this helped you guys i will see you in the next one